Welcome to our channel, where we share tips and tricks on how to use a DSLR camera like a pro. One of the first things you should do when using a DSLR camera is to familiarize yourself with the settings. This includes understanding the different shooting modes, such as manual, aperture priority, and shutter priority. In manual mode, you have full control over aperture, shutter speed and ISO. Aperture priority mode allows you to set the aperture while the camera chooses the shutter speed and ISO. Shutter priority allows you to set the shutter speed while the camera chooses aperture and ISO. Another important aspect of using a DSLR camera is understanding composition. This includes knowing how to use the rule of thirds, leading lines, and depth of field to create visually interesting photos. The rule of thirds is a compositional guideline that suggests placing the subject of the photograph along one of the grid lines that divide the image into thirds. Leading lines can be used to guide the viewer's eye through the image and add depth to the composition. Depth of field refers to the portion of the image that is in focus, the aperture controls the depth of field. A wide aperture, small f-stop number, will create a shallow depth of field and a narrow aperture large f-stop number, will create a deep depth of field. Another great feature of DSLR cameras is the ability to change lenses. This allows you to achieve different types of shots, such as wide-angle, telephoto, and macro. A wide-angle lens has a wider field of view and is great for landscape and dark textural shots. A telephoto lens has a narrow field of view and is great for portraits and wildlife shots. A macro lens is great for close-up shots of small objects and details. A DSLR camera also allows you to adjust the focus manually. This is important for achieving the desired level of sharpness in the shot. You can use the manual focus ring on the lens or the focus points on the camera to adjust the focus. It's also important to understand the different types of focus, such as single point, continuous and autofocus. Now that you understand the basics of using a DSLR camera, it's time to start experimenting and practicing with different settings and compositions. Remember, photography is an art and it takes time to master. Keep experimenting, learning and have fun with it.